great spot while helping a great cause. For any questions, call Hires Baxley at 352-629-7171. Thank you. Uh, 20 minutes after 9 o'clock, if you're ever in the bookstore and you see a 60-year-old man who's pretty large sitting in one of those tiny chairs in the children's section Mm -hmm. and he's reading a children's book, that's me. (laughs) <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, not that I'm creepy. I'm not creepy hanging out with the children. I just love children's books. They they just are so delightful, so colorful, and we have one right now that I will recommend. Uh, Jean Reagan is the author, and she's on the phone. It says here, in addition to being a talented author of children's books, she's also a backcountry volunteer in the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Isn't that cool? How about that? Yeah. That is awesome. Um, that is cool. How to Catch Santa. Uh, a holiday book to a holiday how to book for children illustrated by Leo Wildish. Jean Reagan. Good morning, Jean. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Where are, are you in Wisconsin right now? I mean, not Wisconsin, uh, Wyoming right now? I'm actually in California for three months, but um, three yeah, months. in the summer, I'm in Wyoming. Oh, right? you, so you, you have two homes. Where, where in California are you? I'm in Berkeley, which is quite a bit different from Grand Teton National Park, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for getting up early to be with us this morning, and congratulations on mm-hmm. producing such a great and new original book. This is very, very beautiful, colorful, and, and the children are going to love this. When did this come out? Thank you. So, this came out October 20th, you know, so just in time for the Christmas season, and I have a happy announcement, which is that this Sunday it'll be on the New York Times bestseller list. That is wow. A, that is a happy. little word, you know, words a couple of days before, so, um, yay, that was really uh, fun to hear, and, and, you know, great great early Christmas present to me, I guess. Huh? To you, for sure, and, and from your, your fans, do you know what I always am amazed by is that in order for a book to get onto the New York Times bestselling list, people have to discover it before it's ever on the list, and to, to those people's credit, they are the ones who find these kinds of books and, and say, you know what, this is one, this is a keeper or whatever the word mm-hmm. would be, and, and it, it puts. And then the people who only buy things on the list finally see it. <laughs> that's, that's true. It does kind of generate its own um, fan base after that, hopefully, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fun. Uh, you had a pretty uh, unique childhood uh, since you were raised primarily in uh, Japan, but you had to have a lot of magical things happen to you for you to write books of this caliber to keep it interesting and magical for the children for the Christmas time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Um you know, the way I write my books is I, you know, of course, have ideas from my own childhood. I have pull out ideas from watching my kids in their childhood. Um, and then I ask people, hey, you know, what are some fun things? And the other thing is, even for these, you know, small little picture books, I always do research. And when I do school bits, they go, research for this silly book? And I go, yes. And so for the Santa book, I read Calvin and Hobbes, all the Christmas series. Um, I read, I watched you know, Elf the Musical, I read Letters to Santa, and I read a bunch of Christmas books. So even the research can be fun, um, and it counts as working, so that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so to, so uh, do the kids ever, um, let's say, are they ever troubled by the idea that we're trying to catch Santa? Well, you know what, when I first, the, the publisher's the one that came up with the title, How to Catch Santa, and I thought, oh, that sounds fun, but then I thought, that's how are you going to write that story? That seems really hard. Like, yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's like the nightmare this. before Christmas. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't want it to be a trapping book. You know, I didn't want it to be try this trap, this trap. So it, it really, I mean, it does have a lot of ways to catch Santa, but it has a lot of, hey, if you're going to catch him, you're only going to have him for a minute because he's a busy person. So plan now what you'll do <laughs> with him. And so, you know, what questions do you want to ask him? What do you want to give him? What do you want to tell him? And so it isn't just about the the trapping part. It's about kind of the magic and family fun of Christmas. So it kind of weaves that in. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So the kids are pretty excited. Yeah. The the uh, in in the beginning of the book, you have these letters to Santa, and I wanted to tell you that one of them st- mm-hmm. st- struck me on a personal way. Uh, it says, "Dear Santa, I would be very happy if you could bring me a cloud." Or a doll's house. Thank you, <laughs> Tilly. Well, when my when my son was little, my son is now 29 years old, but when he was little, we were going to go to a place in Tennessee, right? right? That's yes. where, where Lookout Mountain is. I don't, uh-huh. know if, I don't know if you're familiar with the area. But anyway, 
uh-huh. I, he he said, "How high is the mountain?" And just so you know, it's not that big of a mountain. Okay, on the East Coast here, the mountains uh-huh. are not like not like the Grand Tetons. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. okay so, but but anyway, so he said, "Will we be able to touch a cloud? I want to touch a cloud." And I said, "Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh-huh. we should be able to touch a cloud." And let me tell you something. When we got there, Jane, um, absolutely, it was like it was like magic. Like God put it right there. There was a cloud hi- ho- hovering on that mountain. Mm-hmm. And when we drove up to the oh. t- to the touristy place, you know, I mean, you couldn't see a thing. Uh-huh. It, w- it was like the worst fog ever. Yeah. And I said, "That's the mountain. <laughs> you can put your hand out the window and touch yeah. it now." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh and you and yeah, you I really try to add things but, uh, Oh no, go, go ahead. ahead. I was just saying I always try to have things in a book that I know kids can relate to, you know, just little things or um you know, um like that cloud thing you said or um you know, kids always listen for Santa sounds. I make sure there's some you know, listen for Santa sounds. Well, what are Santa sounds? And I you know, have a lot of ideas of what some Santa sounds are and um, you know it isn't just ho 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 which of course I have in there and Jing, you know the sleigh bells and stuff but it's also Santa doing stretches on your neighbor's roof before he goes down the chimney oh wow, <laughs> wow. Fun thing in there too. Yeah. how to babysit a grandma is another book that you've written how to babysit mm-hmm. a grandpa and how to surprise a dad I'm looking at the back of the book it's got a couple of uh, ideas for other books uh-huh. These are wonderful. I mean, these uh-huh. it's just beautifully written, beautifully illustrated, and just the delight. I mean, these are the kind of books that the kids will read over and over again, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> uh, you, well, uh, that, that, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You, uh, that's what you strive for when you write a book, is you want to make sure it's something that the kids will choose over and over, and then you also want to make sure it's something that the parents are willing to read over and over. You know, <laughs> kids always grab those books, and it's so long and cumbersome to read that your you parents right. end up hiding them. That's what you don't want. So yeah, hopefully these are books that kids will want to read and parents will be happy to read them to them again and again and again. But you allow children to have creativity and you instill in them that they can take that creativity further, that they don't have to let go once they start growing up. They can use that creativity and their passion for whatever it is they want to be and do in life. I hope so. That, I mean, that's what you want, is that kids get the confidence and the joy to grab life and, and go on, you know, and, and take it into whatever direction they want to. I, I Hopefully that's what uh, these books will help kids do. Uh, this is a delightful book, and somebody out there is going to be delighted that I'm giving it away. So let me do that right now before we run out of time. This is a beautiful uh, children's book. Let me hold it up to the camera if you're watching on the streaming. There it is, How to Catch Santa. I will give it away right now to the first person who makes it through. The number is 622-9622. It'll be waiting for you here at the station. The rest of us will have to go buy it. And, uh, Jean, that's where we need information from you. Do we have a website to go to? Um, I don't sell the book on my website. My website is just my name, www.jeanreagan.com. But you can buy it online, and it's almost in every bookstore so um it, it's it's readily available everywhere okay um, so in the bookstore well, so, thank you so much which is where you'll find me i'll be in there I go, <laughs> those isn't the children's it area like it, yeah. isn't the children's area of the bookstore the i mean just the most magical place in the bookstore it is it is and i'm often there as well <laughs> so does it snow in Doing Ber- research does it snow in berkeley no it doesn't it, it doesn't ah. um so you're not going to be in, you're not going to have a white Christmas. No, but you know <laughs> it's it's worth it's worth it. I'm sure you won't have one in Orlando either. Oh, I know. No, no. I know. We won't have one here. Unless we go yeah. to Disney. Uh, Jean, yeah, they have fake snow in Disney World. Uh, Gene Reagan, thank you so much for being on the air with us. Good luck with everything. It's been a delight to chat with you. How to catch Santa? Go find it now and give it to a child. That child will love this book for years to come. We'll be right back. This is WOCA. <laughs> Fox 
Watch News Radio, I'm Karen McHugh. In California, a man pleads guilty on planning to join ISIS. 22-year-old Nicholas Michael Tassan is facing up to 15 years in prison after pleading guilty in a federal court in Sacramento to attempting to provide material support to a foreign terror organization. He's one of several who've been arrested in the U.S. over the last two years for planning to join ISIS. Fox's Tonya J. Power is speaking at NATO headquarters in Brussels. Secretary of State John Kerry says several alliance members are already or will soon take part in the fight against ISIS. Who or what killed the newly elected mayor of Juneau, Alaska? It's a mystery with very few clues. Investigators have acknowledged rumors of a in the death of Greg Fisk, but call that speculation. Juneau police are waiting to get the official autopsy results back from the state medical examiner in Anchorage. Fox's Tom Graham. Fisk was found dead in his home. He'd served for only a month. Fox News. We report. You decide. Meet Vince. Vince hurt himself mountain biking on Saturday. Because weekend warrior. <clears throat> because noob. Hey. Vince is supposed to host an important presentation, but he's not going anywhere in that cast. What should he do? Rhetorical question. Vince should try Go to Meeting, the simple way to host meetings online, complete with video conferencing and screen sharing. Send out a meeting link and anyone can join from any computer, tablet, or smartphone. Just takes a click. Where do I sign up? Visit gotomeeting.com to start your free 30-day trial. That's gotomeeting.com. We've been hearing a lot about Uber lately, so we decided to get out there and talk to some actual Uber partners. Is signing up to drive with Uber really hard? It was simple and easy. So if you have a phone, you can just sign up and earn money? You just open the app whenever you feel like driving. Sign up, drive, and you make some money. Are the hours good? I work less hours and I make more money. Okay, this all sounds pretty great. What do you think I should do? You need to sign up for Uber. You can make serious life-changing money when you drive with Uber. Get started today at drivewithuber.com. That's drivewithuber.com. Looking to put your money to work? Florida Credit Union has three CD specials, 12 months for 1.05% APY, 24 months for 1.50% APY, 36 months for 1.75% APY each with a $10,000 minimum. Federally insured by the NCUA, APY equals annual percentage yield. These rates effective through December 31st, subject to change at any time. Visit one of Florida Credit Union's convenient locations today or visit their website at flcu.org. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all. 